Hi, I'm Em and this is Books and Bath Bombs. Okay, a couple of things before we get into the video. Number one, I haven't been making videos even though I said that I would. Uh, basically, the week where I put up my Back to Booktube tag video, I was super busy and ever since then I have just been putting it off, really. Mostly because I'm lazy, but there has been some other things as well. For example, I did film the mid-year book freakout tag, but now I can't find the memory card where all of that footage is on, so can't edit it, can't upload it. But I'm working on getting back, obviously. If you see this video, it means that I'm actually putting out videos, so yay! Thing number two, I basically have things covering my windows right now, so sorry if the lightning is a little bit off. I don't know, I think it looks good. Hopefully it looks good. Okay, we're finally getting into the video, and as you've probably seen from the title of this video, it's Booktubeathon time again. If you're not aware, the Booktubeathon is a week-long readathon hosted by Ariel Beset here on Booktube. Essentially, it is all about reading and celebrating reading and Booktube and stuff like that. The Booktubeathon this year takes place from July 24th through 30th. Uh, and during that time you're supposed to read as much as possible. The ultimate goal for the book Chewathon is to finish reading seven books. And I have actually managed to do this for the last three years that I've been joining in on the book Chewathon. However, there is a problem this year. So I have two big events that happen to me every summer. The first one is of course the book Chewathon. The second one is going to NatCon, which is Scandinavia's biggest anime convention, basically. Usually the book Chewathon is the week before NatCon. I think one year it was the week after NatCon, but I didn't even go to NatCon that year because I was in the US. Uh, but they've never collided with each other, ever until this year. Can you guess where I'm going with this? So basically, five out of the seven days of the readathon, I will be at an anime convention. Even though I'll be busy most of the week, I am still super duper determined. I'm gonna complete all the reading challenges, I'm gonna read seven books, and I'm super excited. My camera for some reason wants to focus on my Marauders map more than my face, so I switched the angles around for a bit, uh, so that's why it suddenly looks different, but anyway, it's time to get into my TBR for the Book Chewathon 2017. So my picking process has been a bit different this year from what I usually do. Usually I just look at the challenges and I pick books of my TBR that I think fit them. But this year I actually picked out the books that I wanted to read before the challenges were even announced and then I just try to fit them onto the challenges. Because I'm trying to read short books so I can try to actually fit in all of my seven things. So without further ado, let's just get into the book. The first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover and for that I've chosen Release by Patrick Nesters. A little person right here. I don't know too much about the plot but this book is short, it's Patrick Ness. Uh, and the text is actually pretty big and doesn't really cover the whole page. So I have high hopes for being able to finish this in one day or less. Challenge number two is to read a hyped book. And the book I picked for this is Queens of Geek by Jen Weil. I just got this in the mail and I figured it would be perfect to put into this readathon because as you can see, this one is short too. Just like release, it is under 300 pages and I have been hearing about this non-stop recently and it just sounds so amazing. Honestly, the main thing that stands out to me about this book is that it takes place during a convention and it's like, it's very fitting for me obviously since I'm going to go in a convention during the same week as the readathon as well. I've also heard that there is quite a bit of diversity in this book which is always fun to read so I am very much looking forward to picking up this one. Challenge number three is to finish a book in one day and I usually finish all of my books within one day. Uh, not necessarily, but most of the time during the readathon. So I am pretty sure that all of the books that I picked for this readathon will fit that criteria, but the one I've picked for this specifically is The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. So if I'm gonna read any of these books in one day, this is the one. Okay, so this is a classic and I got it in an owl crate I think last year. Uh, and it's been sitting on my shelves forever, but it does sound interesting and like I love sci-fi and stuff. Another fun thing is that last year during the book Chupathon, I read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which is another classic novel. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe it will become like a tradition for me to read classics during the book Chupathon. Maybe? Hopefully. Challenge number four is to read a book about the character that is very different from you. And for this challenge, I've chosen History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I've tried not to find out too much about this book, even though it's been out for a while and a lot of people are loving it. However, I do know that the main character is male and homosexual, which is pretty different from me because I am female and asexual. So a different gender and a different sexuality. I think it fits the criteria 
pretty well. Challenge number five is probably my favorite and that is to read a book completely outdoors. So you cannot be inside while you're reading this book and I picked the shortest one on my TBR. I picked The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn for this. This is the Swedish edition so that's why it doesn't say The Grown Up here. I had originally picked another book for this and then I remembered that I bought this a while back but I haven't read it yet so I figured it would be perfect for the booktube thought because it's a short story. It's not actually a full novel so it's short! I think this is between 50 and 60 pages, so I don't think it will take that long to read. But I figured it would just be perfect to go outside and read this. I tend to read Gillian Flynn novels during readathons. I don't know why that is. Like last year for the Booktubeathon, I read Sharp Objects and I read Gone Girl during Dewey's 24 hour readathon a couple of years back. So a fun little tradition, we're keeping with it. Okay, challenge number six is to read a book that you got because of the cover. And for me, that is going to be Death Note Black edition volume one. So I read Death Note for the first time when I was 14. I have loved Death Note ever since but I've never really reread the series and then I discovered that this edition was a thing that existed in the world. It is just so gorgeous like the pages are black and it's gorgeous and it's a bind up as well so this is volumes one and two of the original manga uh, and I got this last year but I haven't read it yet so I figured that now would be a perfect time. And yeah, I got it because this cover is gorgeous. And finally, we're at challenge number seven, and that is to read seven books. And now I have six books here, so I have one more, and that is Skip Beat 3 in 1 Edition, volume 12. So this is volumes 34, 35, and 36 of the Skip Beat manga, which is my favorite manga of all time. Uh, and I've been saving this for the readathon. In case I won't be able to get to release, this is also my backup for challenge number one, because Ren is on the cover and he is most definitely a person. So yeah, this is my final book for the readathon. So that is my TBR for the readathon. Just like last year, I feel like I have a pretty good mix of genres. I've got some YA, I've got some manga, I've got a classic, and I've got some adult fiction as well. So I am really hoping that I'll be able to read all these books. I'm thinking like at day one and two, I'll just try to read as much as possible of like the big books and then I'll save the short stories and uh, manga for the convention and like try to take breaks from the convention here and there uh, to try to read them. Since I'm busy, I probably won't get to any of the video challenges this year. However, I am going to try to vlog this year. I did vlog last year, but then I thought the footage was too boring, so I never uploaded it. Uh, but I'm thinking it might be a bit more interesting this year since I'm actually doing stuff. Like last year, I was just at home reading 24-7. Uh, but now I'm actually gonna be like at a convention with people and stuff. Uh, so I am thinking of vlogging and hopefully I'll actually upload it this time. Even though I would have wished that Booktubeathon would have beat the week before or the week after Nericon, I'm still so excited to have it back because it is one of the favorite things that I do every summer. And I just can't wait to get started with all the reading. I'm so behind on reading this year, so I can't wait to just dedicate some time to reading. But yeah, that is all I have. So now I want to know, are you participating in the Booktubeathon? If so, have you decided on any of the books that you're doing for the reading challenges? If so, let me know in the comments what you're reading it's always so fun to see what everyone else is reading. I'm probably gonna be watching like a bunch of TBR videos once everyone starts uploading them uh, and it's gonna be so much fun. But that is it for this video so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!